Hello, uh, welcome back uh, to our memory forensic uh, tutorials. Um, last two tutorials, I have taken you through the basic process of Windows on first tutorial. Second tutorial, I showed you how you can dump the memory. Uh, so in second tutorial, after dumping the memory, you had a raw file dot r o r a w file uh, you could use that however in uh, many cases maybe you just want to crash the system rather than uh, spending time to dump it like that way if you wanted to crash a system you could use so many different ways one of the uh, simple way you could use called um, uh, there is an application called um, not my fault if you just search on Google that download not my fault that will give you a zip folder I will show you this so I just search uh, download not my fault sys internals and uh, the very fast link if you go there that will give you a zip folder download that zip folder unzip it and after that you will find couple of um, exe files so uh, the system i'm using was 32 bit if i was using 64 bit i would be clicking on this all you have to do is um, just double click on it it will say that um, your system will crash uh, do you um, would you like to crash your system and um, i said yes i wanted to crash my system why because before crashing the system it would force to have a dump of the memory a full dump of the memory what i could uh, investigate later on so as forensic investigator many times you will have this question uh, shall you shut down the computer shall you just um, crash the computer probably crashing the computer could be uh, a better option because uh, if you try to shut it down there could be some process running uh, to delete stuff um, some sort of script running uh, for shutting down uh, a computer anyways that will be your decision so uh, if you wanted to take a crash dump you just double click on it and then it will create a crash dump where that's what i will show you now um, so if you right click on your my computer go to properties uh, you go to system protections uh, advanced and here system startup system failure and debugging information if you go there that will give you the place where a dump will be so if because of any reason your system crashes uh, within your system root which is windows directory or something like that uh, there will be a file created memory.dmp that will have a full dump of your memory so after i did run that program what i just showed you uh, it's it did create a dump i will show you where is that dump uh, c drive windows is my system root and in windows there is a file called uh, memory.dmp this file has been created just uh, about two hours ago uh, when i crashed this system so this is one of the way how you can dump your uh, memory i just wanted to show you that anyways um moving on this tutorial is about uh, giving you a quick introduction of volatility so what about the way you um, have uh, collected the image of the memory now you want to investigate that memory and that's a huge task really very good skill if you are working in forensic investigation industry um, uh, to learn how to investigate uh, memory and you can use volatility big time for that volatility is an open source tool it is based on python um, it can work with a number of different types of images which includes dump file what i just showed you it includes raw file in previous tutorial i showed you how you can create a raw file of the memory 
it can um, if you are dealing with a virtual machine and if you do have virtual memory which will have vmem file i will show you um, if i show you a couple of samples probably that will make more sense um, if i go there so let's say um, ram capture oh sorry i have um, i will show you different types of files really um if i go there volatility so see a couple of different types of files this is a memory dump which has extension dot raw this is also a memory dump which is coming from a virtual memory so this was part of the virtual machine whole virtual memory has been taken this is also another memory uh, dump which is raw file and i showed you the dump file right before volatility will be able to work with all of these types of files it is really a robust platform uh, robust framework which can deal with a number of different types of um, uh, image files after you dump the memory um, now volatility does have hundreds of different commands you can do many things with volatility uh, this uh, tutorial um, is just an introduction to give you a heads up on volatility and it will be on you how much you want to go how much you can go um, if you can spend time you can go really far uh, i will suggest you to look at this link uh, i will leave this link on youtube as well uh, this link does have the detailed um, commands of volatility uh, mainly i will show you how to use the commands and after that if you uh, want to understand volatility well then this is your guide really it may take a couple of days that you could be an expert in volatility if you wanted to use a um, couple of different types of images uh, there is on right hand side anyways i have that link as well and i will give you that link there are a number of different sample files what you can work on so you can simply download those sample files or one or two first um, and then check how much you have learned from this uh, command references so these are the resources i will be uploading um, once i upload the video um, let's start with the volatility uh, now whole concept of using volatility is you can run the volatility from anywhere you don't have to install it there is nothing to install um, you just download the volatility again i will uh, leave a link for volatility download but you can search on google download volatility after downloading it you unzip it uh, what I did, I just copied this volatility folder in C drive. Um, doesn't have to be in C drive really, it could be on your memory stick or anywhere you want, that doesn't matter. Within this volatility folder, um, this is the main file I will be uh, looking at. Um, so it has an extension .exe. My computer is not showing that anyways, but you will see it in a second. I have left all the other memories, um, or what I will be working on here within this folder, but it doesn't have to be here anyways. You could have it um, anywhere you like to have. So let me show you how you run volatility first. Well, sorry, I forgot to um, tell you something else. Volatility uh, can work on a number of different operating systems. Volatility mainly based in uh, Linux, uh, where you could run that Python directly. Uh, but as I'm using Windows right now, I wanted to show you how you can use volatility on Windows. Um, uh, you can use this tool on Mac machine as well. And all of these you will be able to download from same place. Just search on Google download volatility. Uh, so we are using volatility for Windows. Let me show you how you can uh, run volatility. So uh, to run volatility, I will have to use command prompt. At the moment, I'm on C drive. I will do CD and I will just type V, hit the tab button. That will give me the full folder. So where am I now? Within C drive, 
within C drive there is volatility 2.5 and um, I'm trying to go there so at the moment I'm in that folder but I have to go uh, another step down because my executable is here so I'm coming back and typing CD volatility again just after typing V I hit the tab button that gave me rest of the folder name press enter at the moment I'm within this folder so what I'm trying to do now run this executable file but that's the uh, area where we are talking about volatility syntax now number of different ways you will be using volatilities there will be uh, bits and pieces uh, here and there are few changes but um, I will try to make it very simple for this tutorial and next tutorial where I will be using one simple syntax so that uh, you can have the confidence of start working on this tool the syntax I will be using let me show you here I will start with the executable file name so for us this is the executable file and this is the executable file name if it was a python file it would be volatility um, dash 2.5 dot standalone dot py but this file is dot exe file that will be my executable file name after that I will have a dash or hyphen f it will say um, the volatility it will say to the volatility that um, hey I'm trying to work on a file right after that you need to say what is the file name so uh, these are the file name we will be working on this particular file at the beginning this is a raw file I have downloaded from um, internet um, which is a XP raw file the file I have created on previous um, video this was the file but this file is 2 GB uh, my machine doesn't have that much processing power um, it will work but it will take a bit longer to get different outputs that's why I will be using this file so for us memory file name will be this particular uh, file name after that we are talking about another parameter we are saying minus profile or hyphen profile equals to we need to give a profile name now profile name is mainly um, whatever the memory I have that memory is coming from a particular operating system what was that operating system what was the version of that operating system um, this sort of information um, we are talking about profile name so I will show you about profile name um, uh, in a second uh, in this tutorial and after that we will give some plugin names different plugins will do different types of works some plugins will just list all the processes you want to know what are the processes were running in this particular memory just a simple command PS list will give you all the processes whatever was running on that memory um, uh, when you took the dump of that memory so this is a quick recap you give the executable file name dash file if that's uh, you are just saying you are trying to investigate a file whatever the file name you give the full file name and you also need to give the path if the path was different but for me that was the reason why I copied uh, this memory file within the same folder so that I don't need to type that long path uh, minus profile you just give the profile name so bear in mind you need to find the profile name first and after that you need to give a plugin name if you are using any plugin so for this particular tutorial all we will do we'll just try to find out the profile name from this particular memory image let's try that to do that first of all I will be typing volatility and after typing V I tapped uh, hit the tab button that gave me the full name space hyphen F I'm saying to volatility that I intend to 
investigate a file minus f for file now i need to give the file name so from here i can see file name is mem.raw mem.raw please remember this sort of file names will be case sensitive where the commands are not so if um, mem.raw is not same as capital m e small m dot raw so case sensitive um, as it is named here you need to give the name there like that so very first command i want to use is um, uh, just to find out some information about this particular uh, image what kind of uh, operating system was there if i say image info just a simple command image info i'm saying i have an image this is a file i'm asking volatility to give me some information about this memory image so hit the, the uh, hit the enter button depending on how big the file size is this is just about 300 uh, mb so it should not take long but if um, i was trying to run this file which was 2 gb that would take really long like um, for my pc it took about 15 20 minutes anyways so after hitting image info i found couple of information very fast one um, volatility couldn't uh, give us a definite answer about the profile however it's saying about suggested profiles volatility think either this particular memory had windows xp sp2 so service pack 2 or windows xp service pack 3 uh, so initially volatility wasn't sure whether it could be volatility saying it could be either service pack 2 or service pack 3 now if we keep going uh, kdbg that could be very important information that's a signature however uh, many um, attackers try to fake the signature try to um, overflow the signature with number of wrong information uh, by using active data block inactive data block what i will show you in a second um, now this area image type uh, in bracket service pack it's saying three so around the beginning where it said um, it is not sure whether it is service pack two or service pack three uh, when you come to this line you can be sure that we are talking about service pack 3 windows xp service pack 3 and this will be the profile uh, information what you will need to run the other commands um, so before you start your uh, investigation you should always check this um, image info you can use few other commands um, along with image info uh, for example you don't know what are the uh, profiles or what are the operating systems uh, will be supported by this particular volatility version if you want to know that which is always good otherwise maybe we are trying to use volatility against um, certain operating system memory and this volatility does not support that so if you just run this uh, hyphen hyphen info command that will give you a long list of all the um, operating systems or profiles supported by the volatility so from here you can see that uh, yes this volatility does support windows xp service pack 3 so we are good uh, to investigate this particular image by using this volatility and number of other operating systems if you don't see it here in this list then still you can try to do that with um, nearest operating system profile um, so that's uh, the second command we did use minus minus um, info uh, i think that's where i will uh, stop for this tutorial so just a quick recap we had a, a very brief introduction of volatility and we used um, um, minus um, 
image info uh, just to find out the profile information we used uh, dash dash info um, so to find out what are the profiles could be supported by this particular volatility i will take you through some other commands in next tutorial thank you